Hi, Pop Jasper's fans. I'm your Pop Jasper's guide, Amy, and I'm here again with Paper Thin. What's up, guys? So, PCS 6 APEC in America has final finished last weekend. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations for Day Trade Gaming and Sonics for winning PCS 6 APEC in Americas. So today, it's time to talk about the remaining two regions, Asia and Europe. Yeah, I mean, 32 incredible teams across both regions. I mean, sure to be absolutely stacked, insane PUBG Esports action. So first to go is Asia region. Asia was always known to be the very strong region. And this time in PCS 6, we have very simple distribution. Eight Chinese team from PCL and eight teams from PWS East Asia. So from PCS 6, Chinese team have two more seats than before. Yeah, I mean, they're undefeated in PCSs so far. So, you know, having them have a few more seeds seems to make a lot of sense. And of course, we know this is probably the most dominant region in the world right now. So coming out of the PCL again this year, our top two teams shouldn't surprise anybody. Um, first is New Happy. They won again, barely. It was very, very close, but our PGC winners continue to look very impressive, even with the stacked competition. But staying with the same roster, kind of going with what's working, you know, these three X barrels sprays and these kind of things they do. New Happy is insane. Right behind them, 17. Now 17 is also sticking with the same roster and they continue to look very, very strong. I know they have contended for the champion in that last match, but New Happy was a little better at the last match. And I'm quite curious who is going to contend 17 Gaming over the Picado and Pachinki. Ah, so this time around, it doesn't look like anybody will. Underdog to try to fight for that position will not be there. So I think it should be open territory for 17. It's gonna be much more comfortable for 70 Gaming to compete in PCS 6 IG, I think. The next two teams I wanna talk about is the teams that have won the PCS events before. So Tion by Esports have won the PCS Charity Showdown, and Pearl won two consecutive championships in PCS Asia last year. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's so many good teams. Uh, here in China and so many good players. So Tianba in particular has had quite a bit of, uh, you know, change up in their roster, not too surprising with the way the results went last year. So you still have Lin Shun as kind of the leader of this team. Uh, then you got Kui, who's actually a Korean born player, but he's been playing in the PCL. Also 77 was on LGE with him at some point, who was also on Vici Gaming, a long time ago, back in like 2019, which was also a team Lin Shun was on. So there's like all these little connections here with this team now. And then last but not least is Tang, uh, who used to be on LYG. So this is a good roster of players who've played with each other in the past, but not for quite some time. Yeah, in Pero, they almost did not make it to the PCS 6 Asia because they were 11th in the fourth day, but they won the two consecutive chickens and earned 86 points in that day, and they ended up fourth in that day. I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less out of them. This is still a strong team, though. They've had a bit of a change. They did bring AZ and Ming over from next. So it is kind of an interesting roster. Mill and Aches left still stand, but it's gonna look a little bit different to fans of this team. So fifth was Tailu. Can you explain more about this team? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is kind of an interesting squad. Uh, you're going to see some members from the old TSG team. They took Sean Dion, put him into the coaching role. I am Shia, still here. They also traded for Zhao Yang from Infantry. So this is a really, really good team. Historically, a great Miramar team. So I'm pretty curious to see uh, how they're going to perform at a PCS. So another familiar name for Angry Men coming in sixth in PCL spring season, they we're not really good in the regular season, but they placed six and managed to advance to the PCS 6 Asia. Godvi, AKA Wayless, is so, so good as a leader of this team for so, so long. You know, a bit surprising at the end of the year that they fell off a little bit, uh, but now Forever is taking a step back. So that's kind of interesting. A guy who put up unbelievable plays last year at times. Uh, but now you have Xiao Hai, you have Long Z, AKA LZ now. Um, still looking really, really good. And of course, Lou. Lou is absolutely nuts. He was the most kills of any player in the PCL here and during the playoffs. So still a very, very good team. And Jufu, this is the only team that we don't really have a lot of information about among other Chinese teams. Do you have any information? Uh, I mean, other than a few other players used to be subs for a few other teams. So I mean, good teams that they've been underneath, but they've never really competed at that high level themselves. Plus they bring in two completely new rookie players and all of a sudden they're in PCS. Yeah, let's see how they perform in upcoming PCS 6 Asia. And last but not least, it's infantry. They 
it was this close to disqualifying to PCS 6 Asia, that last match in PCL playoff was not only the match to decide the champion, but was the last chance for this team infantry. Yeah, exactly. There was so much going on in that one. And they take the victory in the last game, and they're here again. And I am so excited to have infantry back. An explosive team, so fun to watch. You know, everybody loves long skirts. Is so thrilled to have them back in PCS. And the rest of eight teams come from PWS East Asia, six Korean teams, and one each from Chinese Taipei and Japan. First to go is Guangdong Freaks, which was one of the most consistent team of all in PWS East Asia recently. Yeah, they, I mean, it seems like every spring, you know, the cherry blossoms bloom and then the Freaks win uh, in the PWS. So this is a, a really good team, but a very different team than what we saw last year. Uh, the only holdover is Hikari. Akkad, who of course everybody knows has a lot of talent mechanically. Uh, you bring on Lash as your IGL now. Lash is so smart and he looks to have these guys in really good shape. And last but not least, the best player in Korea right now, in my opinion, Ian. Unbelievable talent, just can get it done in every phase of the game. This is a guy you gotta watch out for. So while the Freaks did end up pretty far ahead in the overall standings in the grand finals, behind them was Donawa. Again, continuing to show strong performances with a dynamic duel of Soul and Salute. Even I think Soul taking over the IGL role from what I understand. So this is still a very, very formidable team in Korea. And of course, Rex is there as well, but then they also brought in Rex's former teammate, Helen from T1, who kind of comes out of a semi-retirement there. I'm really excited about Donawa again. Yeah, Donawa Esports was the best performing Korean team in Lost PGC 2021, so I'm kind of expecting a lot from them this year. And we have Ghibli Esports. I heard that they've changed their roster a bit. Yeah, a little bit. You still have Adder and Lambu on there, a very powerful duo in and of themselves. And then Gumin and Heaven. Heaven been playing very well the last like couple years, actually. So really excited to see him on a team like this uh, where he can really shine. I think they're really good. Another team, of course, that kind of took some Ghibli remnants and made a big change was Gen G. Of course, with Pio retiring, we all know about that. Anonix still there, Spear and Renba move over, plus Max Zora. They look really good and they only got better throughout, frankly, the, uh, throughout the entire thing. So expect big things from Gen G. Yeah, I'm also very curious about this team new Gen G without Pio. So I'll have to see how they perform in PCS 6 Asia. And we have two left for Korea. Mario Gaming is a new organization coming into PUBG Esports in Korea. Korea, and Veronica 7 is consist of amateur players who barely got their last ticket. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting to see Veronica 7. Now they bring back a completely different roster and they look really, really good. Jonggu in particular looked absolutely phenomenal throughout this. So keep your eyes out for him. Maru is a group of mostly veterans as well as Sung Young, who used to be on Veronica 7 and Dlax Gok looking really good, uh, you know, old school players. And of course the legend himself, Yacha, is still on this team. So I I'm excited about Maru. They're solid and they had a really great final day where they put up some huge games, one back-to-back -back games. They look pretty good. Yeah, this team reminds me of the old DPG Danawa. They used to play with Inonix. Now we have one each left from Chinese Taipei and Japan. And I have to talk about the global esports exit. They leveled up so much after placing seventh in PGC 2021. They were excellent in the grand finals in PWS. Yeah, and I mean, this is surprising team and I mean that in a very good way and this team can fight they're not aggressive I will say that they, they fight well but they're not going to push the issue very often they're very passive uh, but when they take fights and when fights are taken to them they can hold their own for sure so last is this Japanese team I remember that this spot was always to E36 last year but this time there were a lot of new Japanese team performing very well in PWS yeah, exactly, right? We had Sun Sister in there, and then we had the team that qualified the USG Donuts, who bring Americano and Corn. A lot of people are gonna remember them from GNL. They are unbelievably mechanically gifted players right now. And then you have Kane on there and Shiva. And Kane in particular has really impressed me this year, kind of coming out of the woodwork. Uh, really a top tier talent in the PWS. They even won the week of final, right? Yes, they did, exactly. That's a really good point. The first non-Korean team to win a PWS weekly finals. So in all previous PCS events, six PCS events, Chinese teams have dominated. And even after winning the PCS 2021, Chinese teams seem better than ever. And this roster for PCS 6 is really scary. But let's see which team from PWS could be the biggest contender against these Chinese teams.
Last but not least always is Europe. Europe is the only region with the invited teams. Here we have eight invited teams and four each from Europe West qualifier and MEA qualifier. Yeah, some really, really good teams here. And first, I think, of course, I want to highlight Northern Lights, team that's dominating already this year, winning GLU, winning PSL. Uh, of course, Big Brain Batulins is leading the squad. Just an absolutely brilliant mind for PUBG. And, you know, Perfectic, Spyro, you know, Lou, these guys behind him are absolutely insane. So this is a team you got to watch out for. And then after that, I think Heroic. I think Heroic is a team that I really have my eyes on. Of course, they're insanely good PGC performance, almost winning. T-Bone has been playing really, really well. He's picked it up lately. You know, Corexi, these guys, Beamy, they're so, so good. They're so aggressive. Next, Team Liquid has quite an interesting stories in roaster-wise. Ibiza have left the team after playing in the Team Liquid for more than three years, and Phosphase from Face Clan have came as a coach. Big changes on the Liquid. Big, big changes. And so, you know, of course, I think Ibiza, he's been on the team for so long. Uh, you know, it's hard to see him go for sure for fans. Fuzzface, you know, is a very, very seasoned player. I expect big things out of this Liquid squad. And so we should mention the new player filling in for Ibiza is going to be Vard. You know, the hard fragging Vard. He is really, really good. Um, you know, they've gotten fourth in both events they played in, in the PSL and G Loot so far. So. To me, it's looking pretty good. You know, I think these guys can really compete. Face Clan also had a roster change. Diggory came into the Face Clan. Yeah, the former Ents player, you know, I think kind of taking up the support role, similar to what Fuzz used to do. Curious to see how that all works out. A couple sixth place finishes for this squad so far. Uh, again, kind of like Team Liquid, where it seems like, you know, they change one player. They're still pretty good, but they're trying to kind of, you know, even out the wrinkles, but, you know, effects team, he's unbelievable. Uh, AC is so, you know, so consistent. Gustav's so smart. Uh, so I think this team absolutely will continue to excel. And another big team coming, Navi, has the same roster this year. You gotta look out for these guys. At GLoot, they got second place. Uh, coming into this, they absolutely have to be on everyone's mind as a favorite, uh, you know, example, Alia, Melman, these guys, Quizzy, these guys are absolutely insane, top to bottom. Uh, one of my favorite teams to watch, personally. So next up is our Finnish team, and uh, still pretty much the same, but of course with Diggory going over to FaZe, they do bring Nuki over, and still I think this should be a, a force to be reckoned with, a very consistent team, a team that isn't gonna blow the doors off of you, but man oh man, are they smart, uh, they, you know, they play well. I think this team is always just kind of in the mix no matter what happens, so I'm always excited for Ents. So last two teams are from Turkey. BBL, the esports were always the biggest contender from Turkey, and they have changed their roster this year. Yeah, I think BBL still has a statement to make here. I mean, you saw at G Loot, they got third place. You know, I think defying expectations a bit. You know, we know Car Code Marco and Smash are quite good. We've seen them perform uh, on the big stages at international levels. Uh, but then they brought in two members from Galacticos with Ketpa and Thunderlost, and it looked really good. Uh, to be honest, these guys were fragging out. And the next team, Football, is, is quite new. It's a big organization from Turkey. Most of the players are very unknown in this scene, so we have to see how they perform in this their first PCS6 Europe. Good luck. Let's move on to the eight teams that have qualified from the regional playoffs. Let's start with the EuroWest qualifier. So the first rank goes to Skade, and I see Ibiza from Team Liquid is here. Yeah, really happy to see Ibiza back here, joining Gemti again. So, you know, kind of getting the band back together a little bit. And this is a squad full of just veteran, smart PUBG players. Not too surprising to see them come through. You know, Noick and Pixel as well on here. So these are two guys who have been around for a while. I wouldn't be surprised to see them finish top five. Seriously, I, I think this team is really quite good from top to bottom. And then I guess it is spring. So next up was Sakura Zen Zen uh, coming in in second place. I think surprising a lot of people here. Um, you know, a couple of players from the old Tempest team. I'm really kind of curious about these guys. Next is Entropy. They even play second in recent PSL, which means they are doing well these days. Can you tell us more about this team? Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, your eyes go to Nailip on this squad, a very, very good player for a long time. You know, with that second place finish at PSL, I mean, anything's anything's possible. The Entropic name carries a lot of weight with it, too. Last but not least, coming out of West, we have Thunder. Then Hyrzen is probably the player that you're going to have your eyes on the most, a longtime veteran of PUBG Esports. So last four teams are from MEA regional playoffs and most of them are Turkish teams. 
Yeah, we have a lot of players here that, at least at the global level, we're not going to be super familiar with. A few like Howell Esports, like, but they won, right? And that's a tough region, so really curious to see what they're going to look like. But in second place was Team Rage, a team where we definitely know some of these names. Uh, Merton Matrelius, of course, our household names in PUBG Esports. And coming third, Road to Glory is an only non-Turkish team. And two players are from Lebanon. And Salik from Road to Glory won the most kills in MEA Regional Playoff. Coming up last is Stardust. Now the big Turkish organization have picked up the Regnum Karya Esports, picked up this team. So I think they could become better in actual PCS6 Europe Grand Finals. So these 32 teams are going to be competing in upcoming PCS6 Asia and Europe, which will kick off in April 29th. So don't miss out and pick them. Did you get right for the PCS6 APAC in Americas? Pick'em challenge for PCS6 Europe and Asia is already open. So don't miss out that. And this is our pick for this time. So good luck with all your picks and good luck to all the players competing and to the fans out there, you know, really pay attention to this because obviously they want to win these events. They want to get those PGC points. A lot of the favorites to win PGC are going to be playing here in Europe and Asia. And of course, of course, they want to get to PNC. You know, everybody's trying to prove that they deserve to be on their country spot. So make sure you guys are tuning in. Yeah, I'm really excited with the upcoming PUBG Nations Cup and I know all of you guys are too. So we'll be back with the PUBG Nations Cup next time. Bye-bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe.